All right, our 22nd annual Northampton Day Festival is being held this coming Saturday, the 22nd, at the former Richboro Middle School at 98 Upper Holland Road. Um, Team Toyota is our lead sponsor once again this year, and we're joined by um, a lot of local businesses that are supporting the, uh, the event, Gas for Home Garden, Time After Time, the Blair Corp, Gilmore Associates, Hoffman, Steinberg, Carf and Lynch, McMahon Associates, Northwood Construction, Benoni Associates, and Trimark Financial. We're very grateful for the support um, from each of these companies and for their community spirit. Uh, the festival will begin at 10 o'clock and conclude at 4 p.m. Uh, the day starts with our flag raising ceremony and national anthem performed by the incomparable Milo Morris. Philly Fanatic will be in hand from 11 to noon. We expect the Medivac helicopter to pay us a visit at noon. Puppets Pizzazz will be there, and Zoo Jersey will be making a return visit this year, as will the ever popular AZ Magic. Bucks County Sheriff will be on hand again to provide kid ID cards to youngsters. The Fire Prevention Trail will be on the site, along with the Council Rock Coalition for Healthy Youth, behind Closed Doors Bedroom Museum. This is a mock team bedroom which, that showcases numerous signs of risky behavior, both hidden and in plain sight. This is a must stop for all parents. Doodles and Beans, great name. Doodles and Beans will provide lunchtime musical entertainment on stage uh, from 12 to 2, and the strolling marbles will be with us from 1 to 3. Inflatables and giant games are free for kids this year, so parents won't have to be purchasing wristbands um, for these activities. The only activity that carries an additional cost is the mobile zip line. Everybody loves big trucks and construction vehicles, and thanks to B. Blair Corp and Earthborn, we'll have several of them on site, along with Northampton fire engines, police vehicles, and ambulances from try hand. We'll also have our popular town show in the school auditorium from 133, and we'll have some spectacular talent on hand among these 20 performers. We have over 140 vendors scheduled to be on hand and a great line of food options. As if this isn't enough, Jacob's Maid of Hope will be here with their unbelievable mini horses. Stop by and hear the story of the great work this local nonprofit is doing by visiting sick children and others less fortunate all over the tri state area. And we're very impressed with their work, so much so that this year we're including them uh, with a grant from our proceeds this year. And speaking of great organizations, the Miracle League will have an area on the field where they will have additional young kids' games and prizes at no cost. For those who may not be acquainted with the Miracle League, they raised over a million dollars and built a special baseball field, a multi-purpose field at the municipal park, where baseball, soccer, and other activities are made available to members of the special needs community. They're now in the process of raising another $750,000 to renew and expand the Blue Playground at Municipal Park so that it will be inclusive for all kids, so that everyone, whether they have special needs or not, can play together. The Miracle League is in the home stretch of their, fund stretch of their fundraising, and we have named them as our main recipient of our donations this year. Make sure to stop by and talk with these volunteers, and maybe leave a donation at the booth. Our raffle this year is beyond great. An example of a few items we have are tickets to the Met for Philly Pops Does Queen, a signed Scott Kingery baseball back from the Phillies. The Eagles sent a football sign by Sean Jackson. A local True Value store donated a $399 snowblower. And my favorite is a tour of the brand spanking new police station and one for Chief Clark. We will also have over 50 Council Rock student volunteers on hand. And we're, we're very grateful for their community spirit. At the end of the 2019 school year, we provided scholarships to two graduating and candidate volunteers, and we'll be making that an annual recognition of the service of these young adults. Although we are separate from the township, we cannot go to this event each year without the never-ending support of public works, parks recreation workers, the Northampton Police and Fire Departments, as well as township administration. And a special shout out to Fred Smith of Public Works who knows what I forgot before I know what I forgot, and takes care of it. Um, the weather's going to be great on Saturday, and we look forward to seeing everybody there. Any questions? Good. Very well done, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. I assume all the supervisors mm -hmm. and company people will be taking a ride on the zip line. So, <laughs> what is the, um, 
How many people are on your committee now that are volunteering? Uh, we have 12. 12 people? Okay. okay. I'm sorry, we have 11. 11. So we have 11 people. And we're always looking for more volunteers. You know, it's, it's a very um, easy task. People just do a little bit, it adds up, and we end up with a great, a great day. And this is really a great community event. I think that um, we moved it this year from May to September because we had three days of rain and we couldn't do it. And um, one thing we'll be looking for is feedback whether people would rather see this event in the early fall when it doesn't rain no. or in the spring when we're going to have to buy a lot of tents. So any feedback you want to give us, let us know. And anybody who wants to help out in the future, please feel free. We'll take all comers. Okay. Steve, I just want to say thank you for all the work you've done putting it. I know it's a lot of people, but you've been the whole group does it, and um, it's really a lot of fun, you know, and um, you know, everybody's more than willing to help, and um, you know, when people, you know, people line up and say, we're going to do help, it makes it easy. Okay? Yeah, we're down there. Yeah, I think we all, uh, obviously, Steve, we're very appreciative of all the efforts you do, and you know, the other people who have committed to us. Thank you very much. We have to keep it going for a long time. Thank you. <laughs>